Phishing and social engineering is responsible for 70 to 90 percent of all successful malicious data breaches. The next closest thing is unpatched software, which is about 20 to 40 percent. Everything else added up altogether password hacking, SQL injection, malformation, insider threat, they all together only equal about uh, 1 to 10 percent of the threat in any organization you can find. People. They are the target always. They still are. They were back then. They are, they are every day. I mean, that's the easiest way to get into an organization. Um, what's different is maybe the data. That's always the same, whether it's in manufacturing or insurance or pharmaceuticals or media. So you can have the best technology in the world and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on the best new shiny firewalls and intrusion detection systems, intrusion prevention systems. And if I could just call, not even fish with an email, if I can call one person inside that company on the telephone and convince them to do something on their computer, I bypass all that technology. If you think of fishing it kind of some years ago, everybody could spot a fish, right? It, yeah. it was pretty clear and pretty, pretty easy, but clearly they've adapted to that. Mm -hmm. They're far more sophisticated. They're now becoming far more targeted yeah. and getting harder to, to uh, defend against. As a practitioner, what I'm seeing a lot of is it's either who they're targeting, it's more succinct, or how they're targeting them. They will know to target the CEOs of the, of the companies or, or even all of the operating committees or executive management. They will know what triggers that emotion on the other side, so it's about people. Cyber criminals actually profile us. So cyber criminals know that anybody in the demographic of 35 years of age or older, we typically use email for big portions of our lives. They know that the 35 and under set really avoid email. So they're sending things via the messaging platforms and the texting platforms to try and get young people to click on links, open up attachments. They think they've won a gift card. They think it's a friend. They think it's their school, whatever it is. Just because you're not checking email doesn't mean you're not being targeted by cyber criminals for phishing scams. They're just going to come at you a different way, different platform. Training is different than just awareness. So awareness is raising an issue, giving you information about it. Training is actually building a muscle, building memory, and building a habit around something. It's one thing to show you pictures of what a fish looks like and to talk about it. It's another thing to actually put you in the environment where you're having to react to the psychological dynamic of being fished. It's important to have ongoing everything. The bad guys, bad girls out there know what we're doing. They know the tools we have. Tools are built off some kind of threat that already happened in the past. And if we can't kind of fix that one threat of, of the people link, then uh, you know we'll be failing. This is an ongoing issue. So you need to keep people on their toes with security top of mind. And if you continue to do that, your risk goes way down. Mm -hmm.